everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to just chill out on my couch and have a quick chat with you guys about my natural hair care routine. Um, I'm also going to be touching on the subject of dandruff, itchy dry scalp, dermatitis. So if you're not really interested in that, you can sort of skip forward to where I show you my natural hair care routine. But I won't waffle on too much, I just really quickly wanted to have a chat with you first about how I came to this natural hair care routine and why I needed these products. So a couple of years ago, I went off the pill after being on it for about 10 years. And obviously with that big change comes a lot of changes to your hormones, your skin, um, and things get a little bit thrown out. So after a while of being off the pill, I noticed I started to get a dry, itchy scalp um, and I was getting a lot of flakiness. I naturally have dark hair. I wear a lot of black and that was not a good combination. So me being me, obviously I tried a lot of natural products first. I tried um, natural shampoos. I tried um, apple cider vinegar rinses and I also tried bicarb soda because I'd heard that that had worked well for some people. It did help a little bit but not a lot and it was also a really big pain in the ass to be spraying my hair with apple cider vinegar in the shower um, and trying not to get it all over me and then it made our bathroom stink so Carl my partner was like what is that crap you're using in our bathroom? So I kind of gave up on that after a while. I felt like at the time my last resort was to go to Head and Shoulders, which I did and it made me cringe every time I used it because Head and Shoulders is full of toxic, disgusting ingredients and it's not good for your hair, it's not good for your scalp and to be honest it didn't even work for me. Long term it didn't work past a couple of washes, after the first one or two washes, I noticed a little bit of a difference. I still had dryness and flaking and itchiness, but it just wasn't to the extent um, that I'd had it before. Um, and I did try that for quite a while. I kept using it for a couple of months. And after a while, I was like, oh, I'm so sick of using this. It's so bad for me. There's got to be something else out there. So I finally came across a product that I'm really happy with and that's why it's taken me so long to share this video with you because um, I wanted to make sure that it worked and that it continued to work. So the product that I have been using is this Mugu Natural Milk Shampoo. This is an Australian product that is made in Australia. Mugu has a natural line of skincare products that are specifically made for people with skin problems like eczema, dermatitis, scalp problems, cradle cap in babies. Um, they create a lot of like lotions, oils and moisturizers. So obviously anyone can use them, but I think they have really targeted their products towards people with those concerns. So this product contains a lot of natural ingredients to help control the microflora on your scalp. It's quite a rich shampoo. Um, it doesn't have a heavy smell. It lathers up beautifully. It's really soft. Um, it goes a long way and it makes your scalp and your hair feel amazing. It's just continued to work. I just can't believe after one wash, it honestly got rid of probably 90% of my problem. The only problem that I still struggle with when I'm having hormonal issues um, or if I get stressed or if my diet's out is I do still get that little bit of dermatitis around my hairline area. I think that that can be controlled a lot more from the inside out and I think that's one thing you need to keep in mind if you're struggling with skin issues. Most of the time you can at least control some of the problem by um, doing internal checks, like making sure your gut's healthy, making sure you're drinking lots of water, eating well, that you don't have any allergies. So the only thing to keep an eye out for with this product is it does contain a milk protein. Now, if you are just lactose intolerant, where you can have like lactose-free milk, this should still be fine. But if you are actually allergic to the protein in dairy or milk products, then this may not be suitable for you. So you'll have to sort of 
maybe do a patch test or do some research before you go ahead with this. Whether you've got issues with your scalp or you're just looking for a natural shampoo alternative, I would really, really recommend this one. The other thing I wanted to share with you is my conditioner that I'm using at the moment is the Australian Native Botanicals. Again, this is huge in a 500ml pump bottle, so it's really generously sized. This is another Australian brand. Um, this is the Intensive Care Treatment Conditioner for Chemically Treated and Coloured Hair. It has no sulfates, parabens or PEGs, synthetic fragrances, colours and is made with 96.2% natural ingredients. I asked you guys on Instagram when I was looking for a new conditioner, what do you think I should get? And probably 90% of you said get the Acure Organics Conditioner. And I'd already had in my head that I wanted to try them. When I went to grab the Acure Organics, this one was sitting next to those products and it was cheaper and it was so much bigger, like the product size was so much bigger. So I thought I'd be silly not to try this one first and see if I can get more for my money um, and if it's a good product, obviously, as well. The formula is quite a thin consistency, so when you run it through your fingers, it is quite lightweight, but it's very, very nourishing. So it's great for people like me who have quite thin hair. It's very conditioning, but it doesn't weigh my hair down or make it flat or greasy either. Um, it detangles my hair really well in the shower and it feels so soft. Like my hair feels amazing after I use this. So I'll leave the links to both of those products down below so that you can go and research them if you're interested in them. If you have any questions about either of the products or if you have any recommendations for me or anyone else, if you found another product that works just as well, for dandruff or dermatitis or even just an amazing organic shampoo or conditioner, let us know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.